Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. On this video, I want to show you how easy it is to fly approaches with FSI Panel 2020 and the beautiful FS Lab A320. So as you can see here, I have started my FS Lab A320. I didn't touch anything. The FCU is exactly as in startup mode when you load the aircraft. All the MCDU are blank. I didn't put any input as you can see. So what is important is to make sure that the initialization of the systems is complete. So usually on this aircraft it takes around 45 seconds and you have a message on top of your screen. So make sure this is completed before you do anything. As well make sure that you have your engines running. So don't go on GPU. If you don't know how to do that, go to panel state, load the panel state and choose here engines running. And once this is done, just wait 40 seconds that the message on top of your screen is gone and then you're ready to go. Let's go to FSI panel. FSI panel has detected, as you can see on the bottom left of your screen here, that an FS Lab A320 has been loaded in P3D. So before we do a setup, let's have a look at what are the options on this aircraft. So if I go to my FS Lab setup, I can choose my default auto brake. So if I want auto brake low, I will choose auto brake low, which is default. And I can choose as well my landing flaps, full or three. Let's go for full. After landing flow, I will show you what it is. Do you want FSI panel to program your FMC? Yes. And do you want FSI panel to activate the approach phase during final position or vectors position, this is to basically use the uh, manage speed uh, on the FCU. So let's try, let's try an approach. Let's choose the airport. As always, the FSI panel is supposed to be very easy to uh, program. So let's go for uh, Los Angeles. I will select my runway. We take an ILS a runway with an ILS. Let's go for two four left and let's go on short final. So as you can see now, we should be on a position summary. We can see that we should be at four miles final on one way two four left at 1,100 feet and everything should be set for us. So let's give it a try as well. Don't forget one thing before I click move aircraft, set your weight as you want. FSI panel now with the new version, you can fly any, any weight you want. So on the uh, FS lab, you can choose your weight by going into the options and then you can choose the payload and the fuel and load your aircraft as you want. Here, I will just leave it as it is and see what happens. So I'll click on move aircraft. We are back in the sim. The first thing that you will see is the flaps are moving to full. That will take around 15 to 20 seconds before FSI panel can work. So as a reminder, do not touch anything while FSI panel is working on your approach. Now you can see that the aircraft is going airborne and we will see everything's happening. So just wait and see. The only thing you have to remember about the Airbus is the thrust levers. So the thrust lever must be going to climb. So I just move my thrust lever to climb detent as, remind, as reminded on the top screen. You can see on the top, move your thrust lever to climb. And now we can see what FSI panel will be doing. We see that our uh, autopilot is set. We can see that the FMC, sorry, the CDU is being programmed. So 1,100 feet on the window, we can see that the uh, FMS, sorry, the MCDU is about to be completed. And we are ready. You can see already aircraft ready for your training. Hold your brake for two seconds to take control. So as you can see, everything is done for you. We are in uh, select, in manage speed, sorry, with the approach speed set. The FMC has the ILS in the flight plan. We have ILS uh, 24 left, as you can see there. And all my lights are set normally and I am ready to take over the control. So to take over the control, as always, hold your brake for two seconds. You get the message you have control and now I can harm the approach. And we can fly this approach, as you can see. Localizer is captured, the glide slope is armed and will be coming very soon. So let's fly this approach and then I will show you the after landing feature. All right, welcome back to the cockpit. I just take autopilot off 
and now what I'm going to do on purpose I will go a little bit above glide slope this is to check our landing report so I will uh, land at the end of the touchdown zone you can see three white one red on the uh, papi now we are coming uh, four white that would be a good reason to go around but I will continue because this is a training tool and I want to show you the grading on the landing report so let's aim for the end of the touchdown zone we try to land around 920 meters which will be 20 meters after the end of the touchdown zone this is my target let's see if i can achieve that 30 10 and we land right there and 1016 meters so we should have a long landing let's use our reverses and stop the aircraft on the runway and then i will show you the after landing flow. All right. So here, what is very important if you want to use the after landing flow is to have your ground speed, as you can see on your navigation display, below 30 knots. So. I uh, will just stay on the runway. I don't need to vacate the runway. The idea of the after landing flow is to let you taxi your airplane to the gate without having to look up and down. FSI panel will do the first officer for you. So to activate the after landing flow, you have to retract your flaps one crotch. Do not use the virtual cockpit. That will not work. But it's F6, F6 key once. And now you can see on top here, after landing procedure in progress. So let's have a look what's happening. The lights will be set for you. Retract, as you can see, taxi light has been set. My flaps are retracted. The uh, wind shear is off. We have the transponder mode to standby and the APU is starting. So everything is set basically for you and our speed brake has been retracted as well. So this is the after landing flow. Let's have a quick look at our landing report. So we have a long landing. We can see there that I was above the path and the analysis is quite clear, a long landing, otherwise the rest is good, but we see that we have to work on the landing distance. So now that we are on ground, you can see that my airplane is just landed. I have the APU running, I have the flaps up. I will try now to position the aircraft from there. I will not move anything. You can see that the uh, FCU is still in uh, rollout. So I will leave it like it is, and we will try to go on the vectors in Los Angeles, right-hand vectors for the same approach, for the same runway. So we just select right-hand vectors and click move aircraft and see what FSI panel will do. So I click move aircraft. So now my flaps will be going to one, which is the uh, flap setting for vectors. And we can watch the show as always. Do not touch anything. The only thing you have to do on this aircraft, set your trust to climb. So we go to climb. And from there, nothing else. We just see that the gear is going up. We can see our uh, CDU here. If I pop it out, if I pop out the screen, you can see what FSI panel is doing for you. You will set now the weather, 1013, temperature is 10 degrees. Let's see the wind. And once everything is set, we are in, ma in the manage mode. We will get the message on top of your screen here ready to take over the control that's it you see two seconds ready to take the control so i can just hit my brake i have control on the approach put the second autopilot if you want and we are ready to fly so this is how to fly the fs lab a320 series with fsi panel 2020 you can repeat as many approaches as you want there is no memory leak anymore there is no reload of the flights so I was able to do like 10 approaches in a row and then I got tired before the simulator. So this is a good news. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comment about this aircraft or something that should be set, please leave the comment below and I will reply to your comment. Thank you. And as always, stay safe and safe landing. See you soon.